por Egipto. like 50 degrees out but I just hate to get cold so I have on my arctic coat of silence cold weather gear I'm gonna put this on for the dry and I may I may keep it on I haven't decided but I never was See you got suckered into being the smarter one the next time you can be smart so it's been 13 months since this motley crew has assembled at this location Jordan killed a, a buck up on this ridge on the 1st or 2nd of December, 2022. Mm -hmm. And she hasn't been back, well, I guess we went up to the open gate back in yeah. October. Yeah, and didn't we go to a blind once or was I, were you hunting and I was just there? No, uh, I don't we remember. went to the blind once. Okay, so it's been, oh, careful. <laughs> so it's been 13 months and more or less. So today is, uh, first, I better do this correctly. I better say, welcome to Hoyt's Bow Hunting Whitetails. Today is the 3rd of January, and we are going to go to the spot that we call the Open Gate. When I was pulling uh, the cards from the cameras about a week ago, this spot had the most promise. There were uh, quite a few deer coming out there, a little bit of daylight activity back then, and I haven't been to that spot since. So hopefully, it's at least as good as it was. But uh, there's no telling. It's fairly mild. 30, it was 37 on the thermometer in the truck. But that didn't prevent us from carrying a whole bunch of stuff with us. We have uh, the heater, the LP heater. Jordan has the Siberian line of apparel that... The Code of Silence Arctic Circle line. <laughs> yep. I just so. hate being cold, so I figured better safe than sorry. You won't be sorry. No, I will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that going for us. Um, well, I, I did pull uh, on another another note. I did pull the cards out of five cameras today, not in the area where we're going, and it was a shockingly low productivity on these cameras. Uh, I'll flash those up here, kind of as we're going, just run through them really quick and. It won't take long because one camera only had four or five photos on it. Um, and granted, it wasn't on a food plot, but uh, there wasn't any of them that, that had a lot of, of photos of deer. Most everything was at night, except for a few fawns. We had some fawn pictures during the day. Um, so it's been really tough, mild conditions. And I do think there's still a lot of acorns out there. I think that's contributing to the fact that the deer aren't coming out to the, the normal places that they come, you know, in the late season, which is their feeding areas. So and we're gonna. You said earlier when we were driving into just the lack of overpopulation in this area, generally speaking, mm -hmm. um, they don't feel any need or pressure or urgency to move around or go anywhere, or do anything. Yeah, they're very low stress. Yeah. So, and I've said it many times. It's hard to kill deer that don't have any stress. But you said that it's if they have the less stressful lives, it's better for their growth, it's better for their development and stuff for like future seasons. It's just not great for killing yeah. them right now. Yeah, they're just healthier. Yeah. So they, they, you know, they come out with, you know, overall, um, everything about them is better, including their antler size. So that's the backdrop. Uh, we're gonna go up there and uh, give this a go. I mean, I- It's good I, to be back. Yeah, Jordan's back in the, she's in the hot seat. I'm gonna take my bow too just in case. She's not 100% sure on her effective range. We think it's about 15 more or less yards. Um, she hasn't been shooting a ton because of that, that shoulder injury, but- uh, Again, rather be safe than sorry. Right, so if something comes out, I mean, I've got my bow too. And I mean, I killed one of the Jordan's bow last time we were up here. So mm -hmm. I guess I could do that again mm -hmm. if we had to, but uh, that was pretty cool. So let's load up and go. We've got uh, about a mile, a little over a mile, mile and a quarter probably up in there, and then a little short walk to the blind. Like three fingers. <laughs> I'm lucky. Yeah. 
Hoyt's Bow Hunting Whitetails is brought to you by Redneck Blinds, Coat of Silence Apparel, Hunt Stand Pro Whitetail, Fuse Accessories, Elevate Tree Stands, B3 Releases and Broadheads, and Hoyt. See, like, there's one, like, chewed off ear right below that white ear. Yeah. The white husk. Yeah. Aim for that. The chewed off one. Yeah. It is hard because I was like. Wait a second. Hold on. It's like curling. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Good shot. So I was like, I'll just get a little mouthful, you know? <laughs> We've got uh, about half an hour left, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I haven't seen any deer. I mean, I know I'm saying that a lot. Believe me, I'm getting tired of saying it, but that's just the reality. We've, we've kicked this around so many times. I believe it comes down to one main thing. It's just not cold enough. The deer don't move much during the daylight, late season, when it's not cold. Um, I mean, everybody we talk to is saying the same thing. I mean, I don't know hardly anybody that had a good late season. Also, too, the acorn the phenomenon of it being such a significantly warmer than average year plus all of the acorns and stuff do you think that's just like the perfect combination of like why would they come out here when they don't have to yeah they don't they don't come out in daylight unless they need to or have a, a reason to uh, i think at this time of the year they're normally naturally reluctant to come out in the open but you know, the temperature when it's cold, it pushes that, but not this year. So if something comes out here in the next half hour, we're going to tag it on to this video. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. I was really banking on this spot being productive. But I'm going to pull those two. There's two cameras out there on the edges of this plot. I'm going to pull those cameras and uh, I'll take a look at the cards. And I'll add that on to the end of the episode. That's what I'll do. So that that's something to look forward to in the next couple of minutes, maybe, is what's on those uh, two cameras. But if there's nothing really interesting there, uh, we may try someplace else tomorrow. We probably will. Um, Jordan's got one more evening to hunt. And then... Uh, I mean, I could come back next week, too. Yeah, but why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to get at. No, I, I of course would love for you to come right. back, and and uh, I'm just you know being right. silly, but so uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, hopefully something does come out, and uh, we'll have more to show you here. But otherwise, 
We'll see you back here again tomorrow for the next episode of Hoyt's Boning Whitetails. I'm going to have both these guys say it at the same time. Wouldn't that be really cool? <laughs> and remember to always dream big. big. <laughs>